Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a full get ready with me Valentine's Day edition. I'm gonna do my hair, my makeup, and show you guys my outfit all in one. So if you wanna see this look and how I got it, continue watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is my hair. It looks a little crazy, that's why I'm looking like that. But to do my hair, I'm gonna be using this flat iron. It's from the company Hot Tools. I actually got it from Ulta, but the company name is Hot Tools. It's a pretty decent flat iron. I've had it for a couple of years now. And I also wanted to point something out. So as I was flat ironing my hair, I realized that it wasn't getting as straight as I needed it to, just because my hair was still so curly. I think if I would have blow dried it first and then tried to straighten it, it would have came out way better. So that's just a pro tip. If you have curly hair and you're trying to straighten it, you should probably blow dry it first just to get the curls all the way out and then straighten it. But yeah, I'm not going to talk too much during this part just because it's long and it's boring. It's just me straightening my hair. So I'm going to come back when it's time to do the makeup. <music> wanted to add this little piece in here so as y'all can see i'm getting cute this is a valentine's day look doing my hair doing my makeup and i just wanted to let y'all know that i am not going anywhere and you know what that is perfectly fine i don't have a valentine this year and it's okay because you know what self-love is the best love so for all my people out there that don't have a valentine 
I'm just here to let you know that it is okay because I don't either. Love yourself, love on yourself, you know, you don't need a valentine to make you feel good. You can make yourself feel good. So yeah, I just wanted to add that little piece in there because I ain't doing nothing either. I ain't getting nothing. I don't got no valentine, but you know what? I'm in here getting cute and somebody gonna see me and that is all that matters. Love yourself, y'all. All right. <laughs>
right so my hair is done now so now i'm gonna just get on to the makeup so what i'm gonna do first is just brush out my eyebrows with my spoolie and then i'm taking my eyebrow pencil and i'm just lining the bottom of my eyebrow beginning to create the shape that i want doing this on both sides and then i'm just gonna take my spoolie again and i'm just brushing the product into my hairs if that makes sense kind of blending them together and then I'm gonna take my eyebrow pencil again and go across the top again creating that arch in the shape that I want and also filling it in towards the end of my brow not the front it's important <laughs> and next I'm just brushing it out again again brushing my hairs in with the product kind of blending everything together I know it look a little crazy right now, but once I clean it up, it'll be fine. So now I'm taking this LA Girl Concealer and I'm just cleaning up the bottom of my brow. And again, I'm gonna do this on both sides. I like to get mine real crispy and straight. So as y'all can see, I'm real concentrated on this part. So once I'm done with that, I'm just kind of blending the bottom out so it's not as harsh. And then I'm going to take the concealer on the top of my brow to clean that up. And I'm doing this on both sides, of course. And now I'm just going to blend towards the top, blending the concealer out. And then I'm gonna go down the middle, kind of split that because this was looking like a unibrow. <laughs> and now I'm just putting concealer on my eyelids to kind of, this is how I kind of prime my eyelids. So I'm taking that and then I'm taking my Tarte concealer, which is a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna blend this out, make sure I get rid of all the harsh lines, blending it out really good. I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. Now I'm just blending out the top. And now I'm just blending out the middle. I like a kind of faded look for my eyebrows, so that's what you saw me doing there. And now I'm just taking my beauty blender and going over that again. And now I'm putting some powder on my eyelids just to set them for the eyeshadow. And then I'm just brushing that away. So to do the eyeshadow look, I'm using this Dare to Create palette from Morphe. And I'm just going to take this black color first, and I'm just going to pack this on my eyelid. So what I'm going for is kind of a pink smoky eye. So right now I'm just taking the black and I'm just packing it on my eyelid as much as I can. And I'm going to do this on both sides. So now that that's done, I'm going to take this pink color in the palette and basically I'm putting it on the edge of the black and kind of blending it in. At first I didn't think this was going to turn out right, but it turned out fine. As long as you blend it out right, it'll be good. And as y'all can see, I only, I literally used two colors for this look. Y'all know people always use transition colors and use about four or five colors just to build something up. You don't need all of that. All I did was take these two colors, blend them together, and boom, it's fine. So yeah. Just continuing to blend this out. And 
and then I just went ahead and did the other eye off camera so I do have eyelash extensions right now but they're not popping in that for me so I'm gonna put on some lashes off camera and here they are <laughs> so now on to the foundation the face so I'm taking this Maybelline fit me foundation and I'm just putting this all over my face and blending it out Make sure y'all blend y'all's foundation out really good. Get all parts of your face, get your neck, get all of that. Blend it out, girl, blend it out. And now I'm taking this concealer and I'm putting it under my eyes, above my lip, kind of, on my chin down my nose and then getting my forehead and then I like to take my Tarte concealer as well just because it's lighter and it kind of brightens my these areas up so I'm taking that as well on the same spots and then I'm just blending it out Now that everything is blended out, I like to go over it with my beauty blender and just blend it out a little bit more. Make sure everything is sleek. Make sure everything is together and flawless and flowing correctly. So now, I don't really contour, but I do contour. It's not as harsh of a contour as other people do. Just because I don't think I need all of that. So I'm just taking that, obviously, on my cheeks. And then I just kind of lightly brush under my nose, above my lip, across my forehead, and then on my chin. And I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm just contouring my nose, blending that out with the Beauty Blender as well, just to make sure everything is seamless. And now I'm gonna bake. So I'm just putting this powder exactly where I just put all of my concealer to set that in place. And I did wanna point out that this is, that all of the products that I'm using are the same products I used in my everyday makeup tutorial. So if you guys wanted to know exactly what everything is, y'all can go check that video out and refer to that because everything is in there. And I also just like to lightly brush over again with that contour brush. I don't put any more powder on the brush, but the... And now I'm just taking a black eyeliner pencil and going and lining my eyes. And then I'm taking the same eyeshadow colors that I used for the eyeshadow, obviously. And I'm just putting these 
under my eye just because I like that effect. I think it just makes your makeup pop. So I'm taking the pink first and then I'm going to take the black and the black is going to go kind of closer to my eye if that makes sense. So now that that's done, I'm just going to brush away all of the setting powder and also set my face with the color that is my skin color. And now I'm going to go in with this pink blush. As y'all can see, I'm kind of going to go hard with the blush because I love blush. I just love how blush looks. I like my cheeks to be really rosy. And also because it's Valentine's Day, I want them to be really pink and really vibrant and really cute. Now I'm just going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu spray. And then I'm going to go straight into my highlight on the tip of my nose, down my nose, above my lip, my chin, my forehead. I like to go in my eyebrows and then my cheeks obviously And then I'm just taking my beauty blender again and I'm just blending out the highlight, making sure nothing is too harsh and I'm spraying my face again. And now on to the lips. So I'm just taking the brown eyeliner pencil that I use for my eyebrows and I'm using the same one to line my lips. And I'm not trying to do it as harsh, I'm trying to create kind of a soft look. And next, I'm just taking a clear lip gloss. I didn't really want to use any color today just because I wasn't feeling that. So just liner and lip gloss, and that is it. All right, so here's the finished look. The makeup is done. It came out really, really cute. And now we're going to go on to the outfit. So what I have on is this shirt dress and this corset. They both came from Pretty Little Thing. I don't really remember exactly how much they cost, but y'all know they always got a little sale. But yeah, these were just really cute together. And I like how the sleeves were flared. And then I just paired it with this purse from Boohoo. It's just a clear pink purse. And then also I got these heels from Boohoo. And yeah, that is the outfit. And here are just some pictures that I took this night just to show y'all what everything looked like together. It came together really, really cute. So yeah, that was the video. I really hope you guys liked this. Definitely let me know what else you guys want to see in the comments. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and share this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.